Hi, and welcome to the Build Restore Repair channel. In this episode, we will show you how to build your own extension cord and outlet at home. For the tools, we will need an electrical wire cutter. This tool has a special hole on its cutting edge to enable you to cut through the plastic shield on an electrical wire without cutting the important copper wiring on the inside. We also need a screwdriver. For this example, we will be using an electrical tester screwdriver to detect if there's an electrical voltage present. It has a metal button and a light inside the handle. The light will turn on if it detects an electrical current on any equipment, in our case, an extension cord. And the last tool that we will need is a simple blade cutter. To build the extension cord, we will need the following components. A flat cord wire. Please make sure that the wire gauge you pick can handle the appliance that you plan to plug into the extension. We will also need the socket or outlet strip. This one has a rating of 10 amperes and 250 volts. And finally, we will need a plug. There are different types of plugs that you can use. The one that we will use is this angled plug. This is useful if you're going to plug it into an outlet behind a sofa, desk, or other household items that need to sit flush on the wall. This is because it can angle itself to lay flat on the wall and not protrude like the ordinary plug on the left. All right, let's begin the assembly. We will start by first exposing the hopper wire on both ends of the flat cord. We will use the wire pliers on one side and the ordinary blade cutter on the other to show you how you can expose the wire through different methods. We do acknowledge that some of you might only have the typical blade cutter at home. To do this, we have to first separate the two wires on one end of the flat cord. After separating the two, we can then use the electrical pliers to cut the plastic shield to expose the copper wires inside. Just make sure to align the flat cord to the hole in the pliers to prevent cutting the hopper. After removing the plastic shield, you can twist the copper wires to make it more firm. You can then repeat the process for the other one. And for the other end of the flat cord, we will be using just the ordinary blade cutter. To do this, we also have to separate the two wires on this end. After separating, you can just take one wire and bend it a little bit and then run the blade across the plastic shield. You don't have to apply too much pressure to avoid cutting through the copper, just let the sharpness of the blade splice through the plastic shield. Then turn the flat cord to cut on the other side and remove the plastic shield. Twist the wires again to make it more firm, and then repeat. After that, let's go and connect one end of the flat cord to the socket. Begin by removing the screws from the outlet strip. Then loosen the screws on the two terminals located on both sides of the socket connections. This is where we will attach the exposed copper wires. Be sure to separate the wires to give enough space for the setup. After that, go ahead and curve the exposed wires so that it will be easier to screw them in place. Place one of the copper wires on the terminals. Be sure to give the wire a snug fit around the screw and then screw them down tightly. Repeat on the other side. Then properly route the white part of the flat cord around the inside of the outlet strip. Then put the cover back and screw them down tightly. And that's it for the outlet strip. Now let's go and assemble the plug side. Open the plug by unscrewing the cover plate. Inside you will find two opposing terminals where the exposed copper wires will be connected to. Loosen the terminal screws and unscrew the plastic wire lock. Since our exposed copper wires are a bit too long for the terminals, we have to shorten it so that no exposed wire is left outside the terminal. Then insert the short copper wires to the terminals and then tighten the screws to lock it in place. Route the flat cord well inside the plug and then re-screw the plastic lock in place. After that, re-screw the cover plate. Our extension cord is finally done. It is very easy and anyone can do it. Now let's plug it into a wall socket and give it a test run. 
Let's use the electrical tester screwdriver to see if there's now power in the outlet sockets. And there is light. That means our assembly is a success. Good job. Now let's plug in an industrial fan. And it works. So amazing. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. It will surely make the world a better place. See you on the next Build Restore Repair episode.